What are some of the biggest mistakes that I see real estate agents making their first year in the business or quite frankly, every single real estate agent? One of the things that new agents need to understand is they need to actually come up with the schedule, right? Just because you're not required to be at your job from nine to five, make sure you are at your job at nine to five, right? You're going into the office every single day. And what you should start doing is really researching exactly what's happening in the market. The more that you know about the different types of homes, the style of homes, the prices of homes, what the absorption rate is, what's happening in certain neighborhoods, how those things can actually affect the demand or the supply or the how much a buyer or seller would want to sell or buy a home in that area, it's really important for you to be knowledgeable about that. So even even if you're somebody who moves into a new area, you don't have a big sphere of influence or you're a new real estate agent, you can utilize what's happening in the market, right? What's happening in neighborhoods, what's happening in real estate, what interest rates are doing and everything else to actually utilize this information to get information out there to your community. And then what I want you to do is I want you to start creating video content on it. One of the biggest mistakes that you can make as a real estate agent is not utilizing video in your marketing efforts. I want you to think about something. When you think about generating business, I want you to think about attracting it, right? I'll, I'll tell you a story. So when I got into real estate, I remember I did really, really well my first year. I sold 69 houses. It was because I had a really big reason why I wanted to sell. I wanted to keep my kids safe in their house. And I did really, really well for a long time. And when the foreclosure market happened, I started selling a lot of foreclosures. But then all of a sudden, the real estate market got better and all my foreclosures dried up and no one knew who I was. I had not marketed myself whatsoever. So I realized that I needed to have to be known in my area. So what I started doing was I started creating video content. Anything that was happening in the area, I would be talking about. I'd be talking about things that were prolific, and if there was something exciting coming up, coming up, or if there was a new neighborhood being built, or something that was happening in a neighborhood that people liked or didn't like. I started talking and interviewing to other local professionals in the area, and going to restaurants, and just really, really becoming what I call the community market leader of my area. I utilized video to market myself, to expose myself, to my community and in other words they started to get to know me that's what you want to do and then within a year I was back after selling over 100 homes a year, again a year and I did it from using video and making sure that my community anytime they thought about real estate or the community they thought about me I used video to attract business all right and then what happened was when people would want to reach out to me or I reached out to people they felt like they knew me right because what happens when you utilize video is People start to get to know you, they get to like you, they get to trust you, it positions you as the authority, it shows that you're the expert, and even if you've never sold a house before, perception is reality. So if you're talking about real estate and the community and marketing and what's happening, if you're giving seller tips and buyer tips, and you're interviewing local restaurants and local professionals, and you are just really being that go-to trusted resource using video and properly distributing it, all of a sudden the perception is that you are doing business. So the biggest mistake that I made my first year was I didn't do video. Don't let that be you. Another mistake many agents think that are new agents, they think, I don't know what to talk about. I don't have any experience, but remember, just be the community market leader. Be that person that talks about anything and everything community related or real estate related. Think about all the different problems that happen in real estate. Go interview that top producer in your area or in your office or your broker and say, what are the biggest mistakes that people make in real estate? What are the biggest problems that people have? What are things that people should be worried about or thinking about? Ask them those questions and go start creating content about it. Remember, in order for you to be considered a solution, you must be solving your problem. So I want you solving problems for people, making their life easier. Think about what are the big dreams that people have? What do people want when it comes to real estate? They want to own a home. Point that, put that vision, that dream in their head. Show them how it's possible. Get them closer to their dreams, closer to the things they want in real estate. You can do that even if you're a brand new agent. You can do that if you've never sold a house before. Okay, so number one, start using video. Understand what's happening in your local market. Start to um, pick a community in your area and learn every single thing there is about that, that neighborhood. Learn about the school scores, the places to eat, the things to do, in the types of homes, the styles of homes, the prices of homes. You become that expert in that neighborhood. And then I want you to take that content, create videos on that, Take those videos, put them on your website, so then you're gonna get search engine optimization with Google. Then I want you to put them onto YouTube, 
Google owns YouTube, so they're gonna get search engine optimization from Google as well, and you're also gonna show up when people are searching about your neighborhood. And then when people are going to YouTube, they're gonna see your information, so become the go-to expert in a neighborhood. One of the best ways for you to position yourself as the authority, even if you've never sold a house before, or even if you are new to an area. Also a big mistake that I see many agents doing, new agents doing, is they don't learn enough about what's happening in their market, right? You need to know anything and everything about your market. How many days, what's the average days on market? What's the absorption rate? What's the average selling price? What's the average list price? What's the median price that homes are selling for? Know everything and, and tell people why, why this is the case. Why is neighborhood A selling for more than neighborhood B? What makes neighborhood A so desirable? Why is it that in a certain neighborhood, some homes you know, are gonna sell for a lower price point? Maybe it's because of the location, maybe they're is a high traffic area. Maybe they don't have good sun exposure. I don't know. You know, figure that those kind of things out and be the go-to trusted resource. Anything real estate related, anything community related, and it will blow up your business. Listen, we've helped people to do this that are brand new agents that have never sold a house before. And people say things to them like, oh my gosh, you're blowing up, or I see you everywhere. Because perception's reality. It makes it seem like they're doing a lot of business because they're seeing them everywhere. I'll tell you what, if I was just, if I knew about this when I first started real estate, oh, I can't even imagine just how much easier business would be. I know you're being told to do things like cold calling and door knocking and open houses, but here's the deal, everybody. Those things just don't work anymore like they used to. Yes, it can work, but it's not the most effective, efficient use of your time. I want to show you how to market one to many and not just one to one. The second that you start, do, you stop doing an open house, the second you stop cold calling or door knocking or whatever it is, all your business stops. When you market this way using video and becoming the community market leader, the go-to expert, you get views while you snooze. People can binge watch you. And at the same time, they're developing a relationship with you. They're getting to know you. And who do people wanna work with? They wanna work with people they know, like, and trust, right? So you're gonna be able to convert much easier than your competitors. Right now, after watching this video, if you're still watching, you probably feel like you know me a little bit more now than you did when you first started. That's the whole idea of video, right? That's the whole idea of becoming the expert in your area. Perception is reality. So number one, go to work every day, stick to a schedule, show up. M master your market, understand what's happening in the market. Give people updates on what's happening in certain neighborhoods. Master a certain neighborhood, learn anything and everything that you can about it. Utilize video content and properly distribute that video out there to the masses that you can get seen as the go-to expert. I hope this is helpful. Look out for more. I'm Krista Mayshore with Krista Mayshore Coaching, and we teach agents how to utilize social media and video to dominate their area. If you want to learn more about this and you're sick of all the boring stuff you've been taught, like open houses and door knocking and cold calling, then subscribe to this channel and we'll give you more information. Thanks for watching. Thanks so much for watching my video. You can learn more about how to be a successful real estate professional by watching other videos that I have. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, make it a great home selling and buying day.